Hello people, so we are back with our new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to explain that how multiple controllers are written within application. Because if you go into our lecture 1 and lecture 2, we had been uh, discussing that we can write multi multiple controllers within a single application. But we were not discussing how. Because uh, we were already telling that NGF will be our parent directive, two controllers, three controllers, four controllers can be written inside an application but we were not implementing we were simply discussing so in this tutorial my first uh, motive is to explain how multiple controllers can be written inside a lap inside an application so to begin with that let's first paste our most common google api for angular.min.js this is our angular.min.js and this is our google api it means that now we have connected our this this html to google google api and that is angular.min.js so whatever script will, will be written inside angular.min.js and whatever we will be writing according to angular.min.js will relate to each other will our application will not feel confused while using any function any variable uh, related to angular.min.js so to write that first of all i'm going to start in the same way since I had told that only one parent directive can be available in one complete application or one complete HTML page. So let's define our first ng app that is our parent directive is my app. Now, since we are in this tutorial, we are going to define multiple controllers. See, I'm going to define only two controllers, but overall the functionality will be same for more than two. So let's take two div because in HTML div body these all are considered as HTML tags and we can define whatever we want according to our requirement so inside body it means inside body we can define any number of div so this is going to our this div is going to be our first controller ng app equals to sorry not ng app we are going to define our first controller so ng controller equals to my ctrl1 so this is this the body of this div will contain all the conditions all the situation whatever we have read we, we, we are going to write will lie under my controller one now one mo more controller just de define and again using div and we can define our second controller as nd ng cn controller equals to my controller two now the body of this controller will show all the variables all the conditions all the situations whatever we will be we will be writing inside my controller one in the script file and this div is going to contain all the conditions all the situation all the variables that we, we will be defining inside my controller two how so let's go let's proceed further to write a script till now we are now very uh, very well knowing that to write any script we will have to define a script tag so let's create a reference variable for our parent directive and it will be where app equals to angular dot module and inside that we will have to pass our parent directive name and uh, then two opening and close closing uh, big braces now our reference variable for the complete application is done because if you see carefully my controller one and my controller two both are lying inside our parent uh, directive that is my app it means both controller 1 and controller 2 are part of my app but if you see carefully both my controller 1 and my controller 2 are independent of each other it means the body sorry i'm really sorry uh, the body i'm commenting this so to write a comment in html tag you will have to press control shift and one slash this will create a comment statement in your html tag and to write a comment inside and uh, script file you will have to simply uh, press two times uh, that slash file so i'm writing a comment here that the body of this controller is different dif different different from uh, my ctrl2 and again let's write a, uh, let's write a comment over here that uh, the body of of this controller is different from my ctrl2 so this will be one sorry this will be one so 
दिस इज द बॉडी ऑफ आवर सेकेंड कंट्रोलर एंड दिस इज द बॉडी दिस इज द बॉडी ऑफ आवर कंट्रोलर वन सो ऑब्वियसली दिस बॉडीज आर डिफरेंट वी कैन सी फ्रॉम नेकेड आइज हेयर नाउ हाउ टू राइट टू आवर यू आई कंट्रोलर आर डिफाइन नाउ हाउ टू राइट द स्क्रिप्ट फॉर द टू कंट्रोलर सो वट इवर वी हैड बीन डिस्कसिंग इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर यू विल हैव टू यूज द सेम कंसेप्ट दैट एप डॉट कंट्रोलर माई सी टी आर एल वन दिस इज गोइंग टू डिफाइन आवर फर्स्ट कंट्रोलर एंड वी विल हैव टू पास अ फंक्शन ओवर देयर एंड द डिपेंडेंसी सपोज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर गोइंग टू राइट अ वेरिएबल यूजिंग डॉलर स्कोप सो लेट्स पास डॉलर स्कोप इन टू दिस फंक्शन एंड डॉलर स्कोप डॉट वेर सी टी आर एल वन इक्वल्स टू आई एम प्रेजेंट इन साइड कंट्रोलर वन वन मीन्स दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट कंट्रोलर इन साइड माई ऐप again in the same way this is our my app this is our controller one this is our controller two and our first controller is ready now now let's define our second controller now using this reference variable i had told from the beginning that we can access any controller inside the my app so this my ctrl2 is also present inside my app so we can create in the same way that app dot controller my controller two because this if this is going to be our second controller one function we will have to create and again we will pass dollar scope there are many other directives other than dollar scope so don't worry for that we will be discussing all those directives later right now just use dollar scope dollar scope is nothing but this is a way of defining a variable inside a controller and what ever variable we will define using dollar scope will be accessible in within the controller if if we are defining a variable in my controller one that that variable will not be accessible in my controller two and vice versa what ever variable we will be defining inside controller two will not be accessible to controller my controller one so let's uh, let's create one more variable where ctrl equal to equals to i am present in inside sorry in side controller 2 so our two variables are ready two controllers are ready now how to show that we will be showing both the variables in both the controllers so that we can see that in which controller which variable is present and which is not accessible in another means if you are using my controller too then we will so we will print both the variables so that we can understand that in my controller which of these two variables are accessible so the this is message this is not presentation of the variable the first sorry the first where ctrl1 is and again the in anglo js to show any variable you will have to use to opening curly braces and to closing curly curly braces so let's copy this variable from here and paste it here let's and now let's put a br tag br tag in html is nothing but it is used to create a, another line means if we will write anything here it will come in next line because of this br tag so let's go to another line the second let's give another name so that we can understand this the var ctrl2 is and again the same way of writing angular js code that uh, double opening curly braces closing it and putting the variable name into the here now this is our controller one in the same way we will so the both variables on ui in controller two now let's copy paste this so that we can understand the flow because this variable is present in first controller this variable is present in second controller we are done now we will have to run this program and we will have to check that uh, what are the things we were talking from the beginning that multiple controllers will be there if we define any variable using dollar scope that will be accessible inside only one controller in which it has been defined like the this variable where ctrl1 has been defined inside my controller1 and where ctrl2 has been defined inside my controller2 so according to concept 
let's run this program and let's see the output alt tab is the shortcut key to run any java application any ui application in eclipse go to run it will ask you to choose the server let's choose the server and let's run this so it is starting right now you will have to wait sometimes it will take time so right now this is uh, not running actually so the question is that what is the issue let's see what is the issue so the problem was here that i was just uh, i had just put two double curly uh, double small braces here uh, it means uh, my syntax was not wrong so always remember that you will have to define the controller name you will have to pass a function you will have to open the function and you will have to close the function and then you will have to close this small braces and what i was doing wrong, wrong was i was closing this braces here anyways forget that so this is the way of defining controllers let's see the output let's go to here let's refresh this so now you can see that these two parts are in first controller here and you can see the first variable's value is coming here but the second variable is not coming similarly the first controller value is not coming in here it is coming blank here and this is coming properly it means that this controller one inside this controller one only the variable defined from the beginning will be accessible and we have defined only where ctrl1 that is why it is coming properly while where to where ctrl2 is a variable of second controller it will not come in ctrl1 similarly this variable is not defined inside second controller and this this uh, variable ctrl2 has been defined inside second controller so this will be accessible this will not be accessible and you can see that this is accessible and this is coming empty so this is the proper way of writing multiple controllers giving variables to this so now i think you have understood how to write multiple controllers inside an application in next uh, tutorial we will be exploring uh, controllers into some more uh, vast form till now uh, we have done uh, with writing how uh, with uh, how multiple controllers are written let's see let's see you all in next tutorial bye bye see you in next tutorial